ಈ ದಿನ ಹತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿಯ ಗಣಿತ ಪುಸ್ತಕದಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಏಳು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಇವಾಗ ರಿಯಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಂಗೆ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಫಸ್ಟ್ನೇ ಕ್ವಶನ್ನು ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇದು ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ಗೂ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸಿಗೆ ಅಂತಲೇ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆದರೆ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಇವಾಗ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂತ ತೊಗೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಅಂದರೆ ಟೂ ಇಂದ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಟೂ ಟೂ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಝ ರೈಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಇದೆ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂದ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂದ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಝ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಂದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಝ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೈಮ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಒನ್ ಈ ಬಿಲೋ ಓಕೆ ಏ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಎ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಈ ದೆನ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಇಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ದೆನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಕ್ವಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿ ಎಲ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಎಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಇರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅರೈಸಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಇನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಸುಮ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ರೈಟ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಎ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಮೂವ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಲಿನಾಮಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಲಿನಾಮಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಪಾಲಿನಾಮಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಝೀರೋಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಪಾಲಿನಾಮಿಯಲ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಝೀರೋಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ವಾಡಿಕ್ ಪಾಲಿನಾಮಿಯಲ್ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಂಬ ಝೀರೋಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯೂಬಿಕ್ ಪಾಲಿನಾಮಿಯಲ್ ಎ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಡಿ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ದೆನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ದೆನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಝೀರೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ದ ಸಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಝೀರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಟಿಕ್ ಪಾಲಿನಾಮಿಯಲ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿ ಬೈ ಎ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿ ಬೈ ಎ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಹಾಸ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಝೀರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬಿಕ್ ಪಾಲಿನಾಮಿಯಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿ ಬೈ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಡಿ ಬೈ ಎ ಸಿ ದ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್
two variables okay here also the graphical representation is very important see they are given the equations uh, two equations like this this is the basic or general form if they are given in place of a1 b1 a2 b2 and c1 c2 they are given numbers means we have check it a1 by a2 a1 by see a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 means the intersecting lines those lines are called as intersecting lines it will have unique solution if it is unique solution means consistent the equations are consistent if a1 by a2 is equal to the b1 by b2 is equal to the c1 by c2 then we can say see coincide coincident we can see it we can say it coincident infinitely many solutions see you can it is very important dependent those uh, equations are dependent or we can say consistent okay next a1 by a2 is equal to the b1 by b2 is not equal to the c1 by c2 means then we can say it is parallel parallel means no solutions inconsistent pair of equations inconsistent then there is no solutions see by using here a solve the uh, given pair of linear equation by elimination method we did here elimination method then uh, y, 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 y will get cancelled 2x is equal to 6 x is equal to 3 substitute that equation into then we get the the y is equal to value 3 see we can do like this and solve yourself next pair of linear equation in two variables for it they will ask it in this chapter nearly 10 marks for sa1 for sa1 okay remember that one sa1 then say graph they will ask four marks now it is graph that's why how we have to solve the graph say only you can put if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 8 will comes if it is uh, y is equal to 0 then x is equal to 4 the same those two equations do like that only and and write the graph there uh, there is the intersection of those two lines then draw a dotted line to the x-axis and draw a dotted line to the y-axis we get x value and y value that is 3 comma 2 next pair of linear equation in two variables say they will give the graph for, for another those values you can check it here and do it it is for a graph okay four marks they will ask four marks for graph next quadratic equation in the quadratic equation see first general form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero where a comma b and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero discriminant equals b square minus 4ac depending upon the discriminant we goes on finding the values if the discriminant is equal to zero see discriminant is equal to zero then what happens two equal real roots we can say it, two equal real roots if discriminant is greater than zero two distinct real roots if discriminant is less than zero no real roots there is no roots we can say there is no real roots or roots in the quadratic equation find the discriminant of the equation x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0 and hence find the nature of its roots if they are asked like this means then we, we have to write the first discriminant b square minus 4ac then if it is 0 we can say nature of the roots is real and equal see they will ask like this two mass questions that's why practice this is the question for practice next chapter arithmetic progression that is ap see arithmetic progressions in that one first they will ask the general form of arithmetic progression a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d comma a plus 3d up to so on then this is the general form of arithmetic progression next arithmetic progression in general see nth term nth term of the arithmetic progression means a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d if they will ask sum means s n is equal to n by 2 of 2 a plus n minus 1 into d and if they will ask your first term and, and last term is given then s n is equal to n by 2 of a plus a n if they ask first term and last term again s n is equal to n by 2 of a plus l okay these are the both are same 
find the sum of the first n natural numbers means n is equal to n of n plus 1 by 2 this is the formula if even numbers means you can write uh, sn is equal to n of n plus 1 and if it is all numbers uh, sn is equal to n square see these are the three important formulas they are not given in the textbook remember it is very important then it is also an is equal to sn minus s n minus 1 see it is also very important they, they will ask one more question on this formula next find the uh, 20th term of an uh, arithmetic progression 4 comma 7 comma 10 by using formula means we have to take 20th term then find a n is equal to n minus 1 into uh, a plus n minus 1 into d then a 20 is equal to a plus n minus 1 into 3 then we will get 19 that is 61 right see do it yourself this is for working second if they will ask sum sum means we can take find the sum of the first 20 terms by using uh, formula means then write the formula and substitute the values then we get the sum see do it yourself given answer also check that one okay next triangles in this triangles chapters see very important means we have to take first Thales theorem or BPT theorem it is very important then another one is angle angle criteria of similarity of two triangles angle 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 criteria these two very very important theorems they will ask go on those theorems practice it very well okay next triangles see the uh, the Thales theorem I am given here see you know very well and statements also I given here and goes on data to prove construction proof okay next angle angle criteria of similarity of two triangles this is also see this is the statement and data to prove construction is very important proof these two are very important okay next this is the seventh chapter that is the last chapter of sa1 see what is that coordinate geometry in this one coordinate geometry they will ask the distance formula d is equal to r pq is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square distance formula if they are origin and a point means we can take d is equal to root x square plus y square then another one is section formula then section formula that is p of x comma y is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 this is the section formula they will give one like this okay then another one is that is important that is midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 okay find the distance between the two points by using formula means see first one we can take x1 x2 and y1 y2 and put the formula and simplify we get answer okay five units then another one is also given then if it is 8 is there we can write how we have to write say root 8 4 2 is the 8 then we can get 2 root 2 is the answer right. see do it yourself again check it answers also we are given see very important goes through like this okay section formula also same by they are given the points also find the m1 is to m2 means we can go through like this okay formulas by using this formula you can get very easily see for this one we can given the different problems by yourself do it yourself then coordinate geometry in four mass they will ask four mass or three mass questions by finding the coordinates here p of x comma y we are going to find the p of x comma y by using they are given m1 is to m2 and y1 um, x1 x2 and x2 y2 then we have to get by using this formula and simplify we get 7 comma 3 okay check it answer all these answers do it yourself see section formula again they will ask these are the very important 
see if you know this much you get you get how many mass 80 mass 80 mass no doubt about it okay do it okay yes all the best if you like this video please subscribe and share it thank you